Thank you and welcome to the show this morning. The topic this morning is young African-American females. And of course, we are fortunate to have with us uh, two young African-American females in honor of uh, American Negro History Month as well as Women's History Month in March. Uh, we have with us uh, Dr. Uh, Smith, and uh, Dr. Hayes, Dr. Carlinda Smith and uh, Dr. Uh, Danielle Hayes. And of course, uh, ladies, let me welcome both of you uh, to the uh, show this morning. Thank you. And tell you how delighted we are to uh, have uh, two young professionals, because that's what we'd like to do this morning, to uh, bring together two young African-American female professionals in honor of uh, American Negro History Month as well as in honor of uh, Women's History Month and I think we have both of you that can represent that in, in, in both uh, conditions. Uh, Dr. Hayes, let's see if uh, we can start with you, Dr. Smith, and have you to give us some information about your background, your e education and some of your experiences and then after which uh, Dr. Hayes will give us similar kind of information and we'll be able to wrap up this first segment of the show today. Let's start with you, Dr. Smith. Okay. My name is Dr. Corlinda Smith and I was born and raised in Nashville, Tennessee. I attended St. Joseph Elementary School and then I went to high school at St. Cecilia Academy. I then went to the HBU, HBCU experience and so went to Hampton University in Hampton, Virginia. I then attended uh, medical school at ETSU Quillen College of Medicine in East Tennessee in Johnson City, Tennessee and was there for four years and then um, attended residency for pediatrics. I decided I wanted to be a pediatrician at the age of eight. And so attended residency at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center in Memphis, Tennessee. And so I did three years of residency there and set an extra year to be chief resident. And so I finished chief residency in 2011 and started um, working at Centennial Pediatrics in Lebanon, Tennessee. Um, in August 2011. Very good. And of course, uh, Dr. Hayes, let's look at uh, your ex educational experience, background, education, and that kind of information. And then we'll be able to talk about other things during the second uh, segment. Let's uh, talk about you. What about your background, education, and experiences? Okay. Um, I was born and raised in mm -hmm. Nashville, Tennessee, a uh, preacher's kid. Mm -hmm. My dad is Reverend Daniel Hayes, who is currently the pastor of John Wesley United Methodist Church, and my mother is Janice Hayes. And I was educated in the Metro Nashville public school system. I went to Rose Bainford Elementary School, and then I went on to Martin Luther King, um, and I had a great time there. And um, like uh, Dr. Smith, I wanted to have the HBCU experience, so I decided to go to Tennessee State University, and it was very rewarding for me. I, while I was there, I was in the aristocratic band, um, played the piccolo, so, and then <laughs> it was it was a great experience. Um, after that, I decided to go on to get my master's degree, and I went to the University of Cincinnati in Cincinnati, Ohio, for that, and that took about two years. And after which I continue to stay there to get my Doctor of Philosophy, mm -hmm. um, otherwise known as the PhD. All in, that was all in the field of speech language pathology. Mm -hmm. So that was basically my educational background. Mm -hmm. Very good. And of course, uh, I think that both of you represent uh, uh, what we'd like to uh, think of as young African American female professionals, which is to say that uh, both of you have terminal degrees and both of you have very, very important positions and situations in terms of your work life and uh, what we'd like to do today is to simply encourage that. Now we've got about a minute uh, before the uh, this segment end and so Dr. Smith when we come back uh, what we'd like to do is to uh, look at some of your professional training, which is to say that as a pediatrician, that there are some problems, uh, some issues that certainly you would like to uh, talk about that uh, might encourage our young people to do one thing or another, which is to say that you might want to talk about uh, child obesity or some of the other problems, the same thing with you in terms of the uh, area in which uh, the two of you are uh, concerned with. And I think that in doing that, that will give us a body of knowledge in reference to what you do and some of the issues. And the same thing will be true to you in terms of what you do and some of the issues. And so we've got about a, a half a minute before this segment ends for, the, uh, for this segment. And then we'll be able to uh, have our break and we'll be able to come back and talk about these things. But I think that uh, the information that the two of you have given us so far is the kind of information that we anticipated, uh, that both of you are well-educated. Uh, you have uh, 
uh, educational experiences and that you've been successful and you've completed these degrees and it's not an easy thing no, uh, to no, deal with and I think both of you no. can testify to that <laughs> yes. that to get these terminal degrees and uh, to be known as doctor this or doctor that is a very very challenging experience but both of you have met that challenge and that's why we wanted to uh, highlight uh, the two of you in terms of what you're doing this morning and of course let me encourage our audience to tune in for this uh, second segment and we'll be back with you following this very, very short commercial break. <laughs> 